on the park. Okay. Just parked on the park. Because, because what did the what did the trailer rule? Um, what did they propose again? That it was uh, for any any of the spots, any of the guest spots, or what? No, it it said that it, there wasn't any specific uh, designation of a spot. Uh, what it said is that the, the trailer, any one. okay, yeah, any. but it couldn't take up any any more than one spot. So technically, these trailers and just these could, could take up every spot, but they're not right now. It's only two. Well, we we can then the way the rule, the way the, rule is, the way the rule is right right now written, it doesn't restrict them to any particular spot. So they could they could also go and guess in any guest spot, thing, right? That's well, there now. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. We have guest spots, noise spots. Guests. <laughs> this, I hear two. Th first, it's a clarification. I heard you say a few times that we have one jet ski and one trailer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is the jet ski just sitting on the ground? No, the jet ski. No. The, the jet it's ski is on a trailer. Okay. okay. So. And then there is a separate trailer that houses a motorcycle. Okay. So we have two trailers, and they're just sitting there. This we're still. The, the people are storing their stuff on well, the, the, uh, the owner of the jet ski is in Europe. So the okay. owner of the okay. other Wait. other trailer. So your answer is yes. We are storing these items for yes. the owner. Yes. yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Um as far as I know, I agree with, with Bob. We should not be storing stuff for unit owners or residents. That's not our position. No, um, there should be no storage allowed, motorcycles, or or jet skis, or any kind, or anything on a trail. What, what about the people that leave their cars here when they move up back up north, the, the snowbirds, and they leave their cars here for the entire uh, summer? That's their car. car. They no, understand? they bring them over by the uh, the tennis courts. No. But, no, but, but, but that's spot. their. Yeah. That, that's their car. That's their registered vehicle. Right, but, they're, but they're storing them. They're not no, storing them in their space. As far as I'm concerned, having a, a mo having a motorcycle in storage that's not being used, and having a trailer with whatever is on it. I agree with you. I agree, I agree with you on the motor on the jet ski because the gentleman is not here. Some of those people that have the motorcycles up there do live here and do use them. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ones. A trailer or whatever you want. Yes, I understand what you're saying. They're not being used routinely. We, we should not be allowing storage at the no I, I agree with you. Makes no sense. I agree with you. If what I, I have not looked on the side of the not again. If in fact there are seven or eight or nine of them that are just wrapped up in storage, they should, we should not be providing storage for our residents. Right uh, on. Okay, you know, I did a little research on this. We have 16 vehicles in there being stored for free. So I called um, Public Storage where I keep my locker, and storage for an equivalent parking space there ranges from $100 to $150 a month based on availability, and they had nothing available that day. So we got 16 vehicles at $100 a month, it's $1,600 a month times 12 months, $19,200 a year in storage being given to who, for what? Where's my $100 a month accommodation? But he doesn't want the eyesore in front of his apartment. Well, I'm taking another, I'm taking, I understand. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where's the equity here? We're, we're, we're subsidizing and doing something we really shouldn't, or else we should collect. But if you're if you're sitting in a guest spot and you're not a guest, you're just leaving it there. Go get a, a, a five by ten locker like everybody else. We don't do that. These guys have 14 guest spaces left, but that's 72 apartments in that building. Right. Okay. So we're being abused. Mm -hmm. We're being abused. Yeah. Um, my my only concern is that uh, obviously that this was. Uh, Discussed when the gentleman was here and he was told it's okay and the next meeting it's okay again uh, He's out of the country. So I, I, I agree with what's been said here, but I think uh, Out of common courtesy and respect we need to wait till they're back So they have to make a special trip and back that meeting He made a special trip and he was told it's okay when he was prepared to move it and he came back 
prepared to move it, but then he was told it was okay. So you, you see what happened. Uh, so we can't do that to the guy again. I don't think it's just I don't think it's fair whether it's him or anybody else. John. If they're but but I, I do agree with what's been said. Yes. John. Um, Obviously not. What is the difference between the cars that are parked over here by the tennis court that are covered? Isn't that a storage area? Uh, well, that, that's what he was proposing that we allow him to do, is to park it there and then to pay a, a certain rent. I don't know what it, what it was. I can't remember now what he's saying. Like you're, allow you're allowed to park by the tennis. That's the only place that you can put your car in a guest spot if you're leaving the state for a period of time. Is that correct? So why are these Dan, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, Dan can address that. Okay, ever since I became manager here, that area over there has pretty much been designated for the snowbirds. Right. They want to leave their cars here. Right. Uh, they cover them, some right. cover them, some don't. Right. Uh, and they basically store them there for the time that they're back up north. But they're in guest spots, right? Yes, okay. they're taking up guest spots. Yes. Um, they're not allowed. The, um, You're not allowed to do that. The bylaws, uh, section, according to what? Section, section 8, paragraph 2, states that in the event of a parking space or locker not being assigned to the use of any apartment, such as parking spaces, may be assigned, used, or leased on such terms and conditions that the board may from time to time determine. Where, where, where does it say? This is section. No, no, no. Where, where, where can they be leased? Where, well, where in the, on the property? These parking spaces that everybody is in, or where we want to put them to, where people want to store their vehicles, the board has the right. Allow me to check. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Oh, this is the now. Right, right now. Okay. Uh, parking spaces. Okay. Uh, well. So you're basically saying this is this would work for any guest okay. lot. Is it any any space is not assigned yes. to an apartment? Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, again, as I said at that at that meeting, he was that's what he was proposing to pay a uh, monthly fee, and, and the people were like in up in arms. Oh, this is this is an injustice. Why should he pay anything? And now people feel exactly the opposite. So that's what happens. I appreciate what you're saying, and. Things have changed since then, you know, because let's face it, well, we've got a handful of our community here, so nobody really heard this until they got shown to them. Right. So now you have a real consensus where people come and say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't know this. We don't show up. Well, you should. But at the end of the day, end of the day, especially if he's agreeable to pay rent, mm -hmm. the least we can do on behalf of the community, right. you see right here, this is, this is income for us. Yeah. And at the very least, we should be compensated for storage if that's what we're doing. Or else, go get real storage like everybody, like I do, or everybody else around here. And that's the point. So I wrote up this section right here at the top to replace the amendment that you wanted to vote on. I mean, it sounds good to me. Um, so what uh, Kirk is proposing is that we um, allow them uh, to park by Nottingham, uh, but to pay a hundred dollars a month in storage fees. Shall I read it? Well, I you building, That's it. Not, not my building, but I don't have it where to park well, anymore. How about my tennis court saying yeah. there won't be any, by any building? We can, we'll, we'll, we'll move those to the tennis court where they're not in the thing. Wait, no, let me finish. We'll put them over there where they're at people's faces, but it's not going to be free. What I'm proposing here is re rewriting the what's before the board today to say trailers, jet skis, and motorcycles may be parked in guest parking area at the tennis courts with written permission from the association office. If it fits in one parking space and the owner pays the association $100 a month for storage fee. Okay, so instead of Nottingham tennis courts, then it would be $100 a month but instead of free. For storage purposes. For storage, it says, well, well for storage purposes. 
but yeah, if you're storing, if, if it's in a parking, if it's in a guest spot, what does the security do? They look and see how long you're there, right? You can't leave it overnight or for a week. If it doesn't move in two days, we technically we can tell you. So, huh? I have a question for you. What? I have two cars. Uh huh? One in my sport. Yeah. The other one is standing in guest. Yeah. I'm living now for four or five months. Uh huh? So, I became a storage. Yeah. I need to pay. Yes. Okay. Or you can put it in public storage. Car, a car in public storage? Oh. I'm sure. Public storage. I, 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 I the parking space. Okay, but how are you gonna? But how are you gonna uh, police that and say, well, this car can be here, but this person just left last month. How do we get? Like, how are we gonna know if they if they left last month or they didn't? Because they're gonna have contract with. Never. We'll make a boilerplate play contract. We agree to lease the space to you. We put a little tag on there, let them know it's there. Mm -hmm. So now security knows that this car is paying rent, right? If you're not paying rent, we will contact you. This is getting really complicated, I think. Uh, yes. we, we, we tried, we, we were dealing with just the issue of trailers here, and now it's gone to all cars and... So just, I, I don't think Before this happened, when the gentleman was parking by the tennis court, there were residents here complaining that that was an eyesore over there. And that, they that, didn't want yeah, to I think I remember a couple of those, right? Exactly. So, it's going to go back so we have, so right, no. exactly. No, you're never going to please everybody. Well, but why do we have to please these 16 people over the, over the majority of members? Mm -hmm. um, right, yeah. Uh, obviously, the consensus of the community has changed drastically. Mm -hmm. uh, it, we can no longer approve th this particular rule. Uh, based on the outcry and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So what we need to decide is what to do as an alternative. Um, at the time that uh, this gentleman came several months ago and he made his proposal, I, don't, I, I think that it made more sense than what we ended up doing, but we were swayed by the loud voices that showed up that day and said what an incredible injustice it is to ask this guy to pay anything. That's not fair. And one of them is running for the board. I'll, I'll remind people that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should just tell the guy, like send him a letter and just say that, you know, it's, it's yeah, changed I, here. The right. rules have changed. And, and come November, when you return, you're going to have to put it in storage. And so he doesn't have to be... No, I, I, yet, I think that's, that's, that's exactly what I was... And then he can make arrangements propose. before he comes back. Mm -hmm. and book the one board disapproved this one. This is what right. Okay. So, uh, Dan, we need to change the language. We need to send this out again probably in the, uh, the the budget proxy mailing, so we can pick you back on that. <clears throat> um, that would also give them time to return from Europe, uh, and also notify the other person with the with the jet with the uh, sorry with the motorcycle and the, uh, and the trailer that uh, we uh, instead of by the Nottingham, this is the tennis sports, and it's a hundred dollars a month. I don't know if that's competitive or not. What, what are what are private storage? I don't think Kirk, so. in your research, what are private storage facilities? About a hundred dollars a month. So it won't be competitive. Nobody's going to want to park there. That's about what it is. About. There you go. Nobody's going to park there. We shouldn't have storage. Period. Right. right. We should not be a storage company. Yeah. No, I, I understand that, but but if if we were more competitive, then there could be. Uh, an additional source of revenue, if that's an, if that's a consideration, it's less than one half of one percent. Okay. And, it, and and just looking right at this edge of the tennis court, we have all these cars wrapped up. You were allowing commercial vehicles overnight. It's an eyesore. And, and this is people driving by that. You know, anybody driving to and from the Bavarian is seeing all these stored vehicles and commercial vehicles, mm -hmm. and we're allowing it. We're allowing our community to look like crap. Yeah. And, you. and oh, again, do you ever see any of this in the French Quarter? No. This is far less there. I understand. Okay. Um. <laughs> you, got, you guys are now allowing. You guys are now responsible for allowing eyesores to remain on our property. It's, it's your responsibility mm -hmm. to take care of it. Okay. Um, the, the only the only quibble I would have is maybe with with the hundred dollars uh, because because if you're if you're going to charge it, it, 
if you're going to charge exactly what the, pri the private storage is is, uh, is charging, then why why have that option of paying in the first place? You see, you can just say no storage at all, or you can or you can charge something but make it slightly competitive. Otherwise, it's like what what is what are you really what what are you really trying to achieve? You see what I'm saying? So it's either you ban it entirely. Or you charge something that's slightly competitive, like seventy-five. A hundred dollars is the bottom. Most most of these sites are going for one fifty. Right? Oh, they are going for higher. They're the low end. But some are charging one hundred. Yeah. Uh, based on the availability of which it doesn't seem to be much. Everybody, I call I call several places. Everybody, you ever want to spark again? We became a big store, no community. I understand. Yeah. Temporarily, until the people comes back. Move the uh, what you have, but you need to check who is the 12th motorcycle. Okay. We start with that, the, that, that's the a whole separate issue, and, and you know that's an enforcement issue, Dan. That please, you know, let's follow up on that. But it's, an, it's a de separate issue that we need to enforce. This trailer issue is a separate issue that we're trying to adjust the language here so that you know people are up in arms as they are now. Um, so anyway. I guess I'll, I'll go along with the uh, tennis sports at $100. No, no, no. No, no. No, just no, 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 we no don't, story. We don't need storage here. So if you want to store it, we have no problem. I put it in front of your unit. No, no, we don't want it there. No, in front of my house. We don't want it there. No, no, no. So if you look at there, I have a junkyard in front of my door. Right. I don't have it. So basically, all we need to do tonight is just vote no. Keep it the way it is. Okay. That we all we have to do is vote no then. And then enforce no storage. Get uh, immobile vehicles the hell out of here. So okay. Have the unit owners get out of here. So what, uh, all I would propose is to begin enforcement uh, after the snowbirds come back in November to give all these people that were told one thing before. The opportunity to come back yes. and and correct. That's right. Okay, so um, is there a motion to deny? A motion to I mean to disapprove? Yes. When I go to the job, where are I gonna park? Okay. Uh, where are I gonna park? It seems like we, it seems like the consensus is to to vote no on it. Rabbit, what, what do you? Rabbit, what, what do you propose? For the jet ski. Uh, just, the I, guys, please. Uh, what do you propose we do on this? Uh, rabbit. My wife is talking there. I already don't want you to go to the storage. My, I, I so we're trying to vote on this. The board is discussing it right now, please. Go ahead. There's plenty of storage company does there. I don't think we should really go into the storage business. Uh, and, and I said before, if they're, if they're using a motorcycle on a daily basis, Thank you. 
That, that's the question. How, how do we, I mean, how do we keep track to such an extent that we know, okay, this person who has this jet ski park right now, they're not in the country or they are in the country. How do we know if they're in the country or not? Maybe he comes once every three months. We don't know. So how do we, how do we track that? If we call it storage, uh, that's just, that just adds an ambiguity to it that makes enforcement almost impossible. How do you know if it's storage or not just by looking? So when I say, when you say storage, I, I, I think we should just be saying parking. Otherwise, there's no yeah. way to enforce it. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise you're going to have to pay 100 bucks per month. Period. Per whether month. it's storage or whether it's parking and you're here. Right? Because otherwise, yeah. how do we know? Yeah, yeah we don't know. We don't know if it's here, if it's using it, if it's taking an hour every day, or if it's right. here for a month, maybe it's storing it. Well, how would you find that? I mean, we can't observe this like 24/7. So, uh, no, oh, so, so, rabbit, what, what is, what, what motion do you want to make? Do you want to make a motion to just deny the rule change, like just keep things the way they are, or do a rule change where we start charging $100 a month at the tennis courts? Yeah, I, I think we should get something. We're gonna start. But we shouldn't store anything. People are saying, a lot of people in the audience are saying we shouldn't store anything and just like deny this and forget <laughs> storage. If, there's a, if a person has a vehicle they're using to get back and forth. He's driving that jet ski to work every day. Uh, if, if a person is using a vehicle, <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. Heavy gas but if, there's a, a, if it's a trailer holding anything, that we are not a storage company. Mm -hmm. There should be no nothing set aside okay. for storing somebody's trailer or parking it even or parking or it parking even. it yes okay. or even parking it if they you if they have the jet ski fine store it someplace park it someplace else you draw, you come home you mm -hmm. live here you want to use your jet ski you go wherever you store it and take it enjoy it and bring it back to your storage area like normal with like anybody else we're not a store we okay. don't provide storage all right, were you able to hear that, uh, Rabbit? Did you hear any of that? No, I didn't hear all that. Okay, basically what a lot of people have been saying is that uh, they, they don't want to see this place turn into a storage facility, uh, even at $100, because um, assuming that becomes a competitive rate and most of the storage facilities go up to 150 then everybody would be taking advantage of it, and then we'd become... Um, yeah, so just de deny, so just deny, deny the motion, or it's like, uh, dis disapprove the motion. That would kill the, the rule change and just go back to how it was before. So is that, is that your motion? Uh, with the, uh, with the caveat that enforcement would begin in, uh, November, which is when, I think when most of the snowbirds come back. So anyway, um, okay, so, so Rabbit makes that motion. Uh, Carl, do you want a second? Okay, so we have a motion and a second uh, to deny the rule change, uh, to disapprove the rule change, but to begin enforcement in November. Uh, Dan, did you get that? Yeah. Okay, any uh, further discussion, any objection? It's approved. Don't forget to find the place for him for tomorrow night. So one well, that's a separate issue. Dan, uh, we need to get enforcement on, on the motorcycle thing. Okay. Good idea. All right, so next, what is the next item? Landscape. Okay, land, landscape, Dan. Okay, um, there was an issue with our current landscaping company, and uh, in their contract, they have the right to cancel their contract at any time, and that's exactly what they did. So I went out and got six, I got six proposals to do uh, our landscaping here. Um, they're all the same one to the next, you know, it's apples to apples. Um, different companies, uh, Keiko, uh, their charge a month would be $4,372. Uh, Florida land would be six thousand dollars. 
Florida native would be $5,142. Uh, green experts would be $7,092. OC lawn would be $5,203. And universal lands would be $4,000. Um, universal lands is the company that does uh, Enveron. I spoke to the uh, property manager over there and she said she was very satisfied with them, that they do a very good job. Sometimes uh, it takes them a little longer. They're not a very big company, but she says uh, when she asks them to do something or says something needs special attention, they always get it done. Uh, the other companies, I tried getting uh, references from them and uh, just because of other things that were going on, <coughs> In the office, I wasn't able to spend as much time as I would like to, um, but uh, I wasn't able to get uh, speak to anybody on their reference list. Uh, what was the name of the company that you said was good? Universal. What was it? Universal, Universal Lands. They do environment. Yeah, they do uh, Enveron. Yeah. And, how do you say Enveron? Enveron? But not a anyway, um, but not a uh, and how much did you say they were? One thousand. That, was that the least of the of the prices? Uh, yes. Okay, that was the lowest. All right. So, uh, um, question. Yes. How often? Once a month. Once a month. Do they cut hedges and everything? Too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Dan, uh, excuse me. Can you double check? I thought that was four thousand per cut, which would add up to one hundred and twelve thousand dollars a year. Per cut is that? So it's two cuts a month. Oh, no, it's 28 cuts a year. Oh, 28 cuts a year? Yeah. So not a month. Hold on. Yeah, not a month. Hold on. Let me I know look. Currently, I have we're paying 4425 a month. Oh. And that's a pretty good deal. That's about 53000 a year. And I I looked at uh, some of the other ones and, like, okay, if, we're, if we have to pay 112000 like, that's that's over that's double. Yeah. Well, I may have read it wrong. No, yeah, I, well, yeah, you can check that. I'm pretty sure it's 4,000 per cut, Ed, and Yes, it is, 4,000 per cut, I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, so how many cuts? 28? 28, so that's a... That's a They're all, all these companies do 28 cut, cuts? Yeah, most yes. of them do. Yes. So that, that'd be 112,000. So, Dan, let me ask you this. Uh, what? Why were we canceled? Like, was there in irreconcilable differences or something? Well, actually, could you get a mic too? I'm not sure if Rabbit can hear this. Yeah, what well, the reason they left? I'm trying to. Well, I'm trying to. Yeah. They were pissed off. Oh, they got too much money. Yes. They didn't get enough money because isn't that the same company that charges sixty thousand dollars? No, that, that, so, was a, uh, that was a mistaken figure. Right. But so, that's right, but they came back and they said that we still owed them money for the uh, hurricane cleanup. And I said that we went over this and there's no way that we owe you any more money. And I said, we're not, we're not going to pay you anything more unless you can prove it. And they said, okay, fine. And they walked out. That's Next right. thing I know, I got an email from them saying that they had that they were not coming back, they canceled their contract. So, because they already got $35,000. So how much they were they looking the for more? About another $15,000. Okay, so, uh, but, okay, and I'm sure there could have been some negotiating done there because... No, they didn't yeah. want to hear anything. Well, okay, but, okay, so do you want to pay $112,000 a year or negotiate with these guys to give them what they think is fair? Because obviously there's a problem with communication like they they expected more from us you didn't want to pay it well there's got to be a reason okay the, the reason was the uh in the uh contract that we first signed with them they gave me a price list for doing the uh the cleanup right they overcharged on every one of their invoices every single one of them was way overcharged where they were on their price list it said it was 35 dollars an hour for uh the labor Right. They were charging $75 an hour. And that's just the one that comes to my mind right away. Uh, it was like $50 uh, a ton for, for uh, the dumping. They were charging $150 a ton for dumping. Okay, well, so it, that's, that's not fair. Right? And well, I don't know why. That's why I had to go over everything with them. 
And when I came up with it and I said, no, we don't owe you any more money. Is there, is there perhaps a personality clash that like maybe I should sit down and talk with them to see if we can make a reconciliation here? Like, no. I don't know what, well, what? Okay, so well, let me, before, before, before you pay another how many 20, 30,000 dollars yeah. a year. Wait, wait, how many, I thought you said we have multiple businesses. I six. But, but so before, before we go on, I want to ask you, what kind of a job has, uh, what's the name of the company that we just got? Or that just GRC. Got? What kind of a job were they?